Hello world and welcome to a brand new Azure vlog. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing fine. So in this video, I would like to talk about Microsoft Sentinel and the Azure OpenAI service. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Azure OpenAI service as your virtual assistant to deal with cybersecurity incidents. And not by automating stuff, but by using OpenAI as your virtual assistant to do basically your daily operations with cybersecurity incidents. So let's imagine the follow scenario. You are a cybersecurity analyst and you woke up at morning and the first thing that you are going to do is log in into the Azure portal and go to Microsoft Sentinel to check whether new incidents have occurred. And you see a large amount of new incidents over there. It would be very helpful to have a virtual assistant that can help you with prioritizing those incidents, explaining you what these incidents uh, are about, maybe do some, uh, some correlation in there. That would be nice, right? It actually is possible today. And I'm going to show you how we can achieve that in this vlog. So let's first grab a good cup of coffee. And after that, I'm going to show you how you can set up the Azure OpenAI service, Microsoft Sentinel and all stuff related so we can talk with our virtual incident, uh, with our virtual assistant about our incidents. So you've probably seen Chan GPT, the Microsoft Copilots, and a lot of other virtual assistants that can help you do your uh, daily job. Unfortunately, at this moment, there is not a assistant available that can help you with your cybersecurity incidents that are residing in Microsoft Sentinel. So we can build that ourselves. And it's actually not that complicated. I didn't use any program language or uh, whatsoever to get there. Um, but let me first show you the final product that we have. So if I switch over to my desktop, you'll see that I am in the uh, Azure Open AI Studio. And this is actually uh, the chat functionality where I can talk with my model. I could ask it uh, questions like, uh, show me a incident that happened and was phishing related. And then it shows me we have an incident with number 30 and it was about phishing email. Uh, can you show a incident about malware? It will show to me that there also was a incident where malware was. And I can ask it more questions uh, like what IP address is used there? 
and will give me the IP address. So this is actually pretty cool. We can ask questions about the incidents that we have in Microsoft Sentinel. So let me now show you how I built this uh, virtual assistant. So it actually all starts in Microsoft Sentinel. This is where the incident is generated. And what I have done over here at automation, I have a archive incident automation rule. And what this actually does is did will, this will call a workbook or playbook that I have for running, which will archive the incident to a storage account. We can use the data in storage account with the Azure Open AI service to uh, enrich the experience that we uh, have over there. So if I go to home over here and I click on this Logic app, I go to edit, you will actually see uh, what I have done. So I have a Microsoft Sentinel trigger over here. I initialize a variable. What I'm actually doing is writing down the incident in markdown language. So this is actually quite interesting. Within uh, the open AI service, we currently can uh, connect to a storage account where we can save text files on. We could also save files in JSON, etc. but that that unfortunately did not work that well, but the markdowns are actually uh, pretty neat. So I wrote down my incident as a markdown file into my storage account. That's actually what I do over here at, uh, at this activity. I'm basically just uh, uh, creating a MD file, a markdown file, and I put all the, uh, the content in there, which is in the, uh, the incident variable. And that's actually uh, this one over here. So if I now go to my storage account and I go to storage explorer over here, I go to blob containers. I have a incident uh, container over here. And this is actually where all the uh, incidents uh, uh, are stored. So uh, we just saw uh, incident 30 and this is actually the incident that is about uh, I thought it was the uh, the iCar fell. So next up, we have the Azure Open AI service. And if I go to my uh, Open AI service, I can click on Explore over here, and that will bring me to the uh, the Azure Open AI Studio. When I'm in the Azure Open AI Studio, I can go to Chat, and I can click here on Add Your Data. And what I actually have done over here is add uh, a cognitive search and the cognitive search actually indexes uh, my, uh, my storage account. I can click on remove over here so I can show you how I've added my uh, 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 cognitive search. What I actually did over here was select the blob storage over here and select my uh, storage account where the incidents are located. I select the right container and what you can do over here is create a new cognitive service or you can create it manually. I've created it manually. I can select it over, over here. Um, and then I need to name my index. So what I did was, uh, I think something like uh, IDX uh, incidents. Let's now put a two behind it as it uh, already uh, uh, exists. I will index it hourly. So every hour, the cognitive service will look at the uh, uh, storage account to check whether new incidents have occurred. Next up, I click on, I acknowledge uh, that it might cost some money. Let's go to next. I would like to search using keywords over here. And this actually configures the whole Azure OpenAI service to work 
with my cybersecurity incidents. So it it is uh, it's now deploying uh, the index. It's creating a indexer, I think, which is a uh, a part, a component of the uh, cognitive search, which will index the uh, the storage account, and it also will directly uh, trigger a uh, indexing run. In fact, if we uh, switch back to uh, my desktop, you see that it's now pre-processing uh, zero out of three files. So it found that there were three files, which were my uh, three incidents. And this is now all tied together. As soon as it's complete, we can work uh, with uh, Azure Open AI and our cybersecurity uh, incidents. Another thing that I did was here at the system message. I added uh, uh, a thing over here. Uh, this was already uh, in there, and this is what I added. You can give information about incidents. Each document that you have indexed is a actual incident that happened in Microsoft Sentinel. So this virtual assistant knows that it has access to cybersecurity incidents which are occurred in Microsoft Sentinel. We can ask questions about it. So if I switch back, we can ask questions like, what incidents do you have about iCar? And there we have it. When I click on references, you will also see that it references the uh, markdown file, uh, which described the, uh, the incident. So this is really, really nice and, uh, and, and really helpful. So a thing that I would like to point out over here is that I first tried to do it the advanced way, deploy all the resources myself and not using the automated uh, deployment wizard that uh, is within the uh, uh, Azure OpenAI service. Unfortunately, that did not end up uh, working. And what I think, but I could not find any documentation about it, I tried to set it all up with JSON files. So exporting my cybersecurity incident from Sentinel directly as a, a JSON file. We can do that quite easily in the, uh, in the uh, logic apps and that will actually brings a nested file. So we have a file with uh, an object in it and within that object we have another object and uh, we have another a couple of layers of nested objects in there. From what I think I, uh, I've saw is that the Azure Open AI service is not capable at this moment of working with such nested uh, objects. I haven't found any documentation about it, but I was not able to get it working. But using the wizard in the Azure Open AI service worked perfectly for me. So this, uh, this is actually really nice. We now have a Azure Open AI service where we can chat with a virtual assistant that knows all our cybersecurity incidents at least most of them, it get indexed every hour. So it might be that you're missing your latest incidents, but with an hour, they will also be, uh, be in there. So in this video, you saw how I configured Microsoft Sentinel to export or archive the incidents to a storage account. And you saw how I configured the Azure Open AI service to work with that storage account and spin up a cognitive service that will index the uh, storage account with the data that's in there and actually use the uh, cognitive service using uh, the Azure OpenAI service so we can ask questions about our data, which I think can be very helpful, especially if you have less knowledge of Microsoft Sentinel or you just want to have a friendly interface to talk about your incidents. That being said, I hope you like this content. If so, please hit the thumbs up button. Of course, subscribe to this channel and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.
Thank mm-hmm. you.